okay the dashboard as I told you during the general presentation was completely changed we have changed the component the the main component and you now use a different way to create the dashboards you have this new type of wide get the index wide get it's also called it uh, KPI uh, or index we have decided to add the, the name as index and the link wide get, wide get is very similar to the one we have we, we had already on version 8 you will add here a link I have I have already some applications to apply so let me apply this chart here so it's going to be linked I can also set some properties for me to show the options inside the, the dashboard okay and then I will organize here I can also open the close the menu so I can have more space to work with my dashboard uh, let me add here one index wide get so for the index wide get we are going to need to uh, connect the dashboard application didn't have a connection but now uh, we'll have it will have a connection just for the options here inside the index wide get you need to select a connection and then a table uh, field and um, period and etc so let's select here for example sales I want to do the sum um, it can be the difference for example or percentage difference then I choose a uh, date period f uh, period function we can compare for example months and the way we are going to display the values if it's going to be both periods, uh, the actual period, last period, or known, let's use actual period. You have some uh, format formatting options for the metric and for the period, and the properties. You can add a reload time. Uh, so here, let's add a title sales. You can also you can also add an icon to your index wide get. So let's add it here we can have the let me put the chart bigger and then this is how you organize the dashboard now you use this component to drag and drop the white gets and set the size uh, let me add another one uh, not index a link one and here I have prepared um, grid application the same we did yesterday, I'm using the applications we did yesterday. Okay, here I have the 10 um, best customers. So if I run in this way, I'll have the dashboard like this. I have the chart, I have the five main customers, I have here the index. So then uh, if you organize the size, you don't have that scroll you can also add another one let me add another one here um, this is the the summary we did yesterday as well I will add here down the bottom so this uh, wide get organization was not possible within the version 8 inside the version 8 the dashboards we're very straight so here we have the summary okay uh, I have another example here uh, I have a I have a, let me open the project I have a blank application uh, here okay and inside this blank application I'm calling for example uh, YouTube video okay so this is something you can do as well you can create a blank application with something you want to bring to the dashboard or you can call uh, an external uh, URL so for this case I'm just calling this video and then I'll go to my dashboard and for example here instead of the chart we can add the blank this is my blank name and it's going to display uh, the video inside the dashboard okay then you would have to organize here the size and this is just an example you can use because inside the blank application 
you can do uh, whatever you want and then you are also able to do something like this okay then we are planning to add more stuff to the to the dashboard for the version 9 this is just uh, the big change we have changed the component and added the index white get but the idea because we want to have script case very strong for BI uh, applications and for business applications so we are going to add more options in the sequence of the version 9 okay so this is what we have for the dashboard we can go now to the menu application